no brass today. Come on, you got brass ones. Give me brass. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. And now let's make this step even more exciting and with the even a greater upgrade. So we're going to dance for the reverse, reverse pivot, telemark, telespin, repeat telespin, pivot, side close. We are then going to continue with the over sway, drag, semi foot lunge, ending with a five step. Let's see it with music. And now that you have seen the step, let's analyze it in motion. So the follow-way will be the same as always. One, two, three, four. Entry into telespin, we already discussed. One, two, three. Now, beginning of the action is the same as if I did a full pivot. So I still have the lady inside my hip. I am moving to my left foot, moving to my left foot, and rotating, keeping the same position. So I have kept the same center with the rein. The rein is still inside my hip. So very common mistake, if we repeat the telespin, very common mistake is having the correct position on the telespin and then losing that position on the second telespin. Now this is a very common mistake. Now it is impossible to continue the action so I must keep the same center. So if I repeat this from the telemark and one, two, three. Lady inside my hip, moving to left foot, continuing backwards, keeping the lady in the same position. We have not changed center, same position. And moving backwards again, and moving backwards, and no change of sway in this case, because we want to have the opportunity to change the sway now, to prepare for the oversway. So left foot moving outwards, and now shaping downwards to the foot. Now shaping the rein. So I'm very aware of shaping the rein. I am not shaping my body over the rein. I am not shaping to the side. I am shortening once again my right side to allow the rein to shape off me. So again, we are totally on balance in this position. So if we do it one more time from close and normal position, Shaping, foot, shape downwards, shape downwards, rise from the leg. Now, very still, just repositioning the rein inside my hip once again, boom, boom. Again, we are on balance. Ladies inside my hip, same as the telespin. Now, from here, same as the telespin, I am moving backwards to left foot. One. Now moving legs, leg, leg, point, body weight not totally on the foot yet, moving to foot, moving to the foot, rotate lady to permanent position. Ladies, the upgrade for you here is two telespins. Sounds very difficult, but in fact it's very, very easy. Because the position that you start with in the first telespin, you will maintain that position for the second telespin. That means that your weight will be traveling in one direction. Now you may have your head changing. That is okay. But the body position must not change. I'll dance it slowly with Luca, and you can watch and see how my weight travels down the room. I do not turn into Luca. On the two telespins, I'm traveling down the room. The body position will not change, yet you will see my head changing from right to left and back to right again. 
Look at it slowly. We're going to go straight into the tully mark to tully spin. And there's my position. My hip is inside Luca's right hip. My weight's going to travel in one direction from now. The head changes, but the weight continues going straight. Here, I stay closed. Now I feel the foot moving, ready for the oversway. Here, I feel a great relaxation and a softening of my left side. So I'm using the muscles here to shorten. And that will give me my extension. And I relax. Now I'm on coming onto the standing leg. And the same foot lunge. Moving the body weight. And ready. Deal. Here, I'm now going to make sure that I use my legs the weight, the lower half of the body, to continue into the five step. If I move the upper part of the body, I will overpower Luca, and he will then say, you're pushing me. So here I'm going to maintain my space, the upper body space, which is to the left, and I'm going to let my legs and feet do the motion. Placing the foot, now relaxing and allow the head to go to the right. And now, let's count the leg timing of this quite complicated choreography. And quick, 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 and quick, 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 and quick, 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 slow. Slow, 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 and slow, and quick. Quick, 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 slow. 